what is the cause of life-threatening fungal infections? And how do microorganisms overcome the human immune system? Only when these mechanisms are better understood will new, safe diagnostic possibilities and more effective therapies be developed for these infections. Infection biology research at the Hans Knull Institute wants to make an important contribution. In particular, the scientists are dealing with the mold Aspergillus fumigatus and the yeast Candida albicans. More and more people are dying from infections caused by these fungi, especially patients with a weakened immune system. In order to clarify the infection processes at the molecular level, the Department of Molecular and Applied Microbiology is using so-called omics technologies. The staff of Professor Axel Brackhager uses these technologies to shed light on the set of all genes, proteins and metabolic processes of both the pathogen and the host. We are interested in the gene regulation which is important for disease progression in a fungal infection. And then we are interested in the immune cell side, because that is obviously important to combat a possible fungal infection in the body. Scientists of the Infection Biology Department are investigating how infectious fungi manage to subvert the immune system. Among other things, they are concerned with the question of how phagocytes respond to Candida albicans. Professor Peter Zipfeld's team is also exploring the genetic basis of infection. The results of their work could significantly improve the treatment of, for example, a specific kidney disease. Yeasts such as Candida albicans can be found in every healthy person's body, but the otherwise peaceful roommate can become a dangerous pathogen under certain conditions. Especially in women, who often suffer from Candida infections or in patients with a weakened immune system. Professor Bernhard Huber and his staff of the Department of Microbial Pathogenicity Mechanisms examined why this is so. In the process, they were able to decipher the function of several disease-causing genes in Candida albicans. Professor Ilse Jakobsen and her research group Microbial Immunology want to find out what happens between fungus and human host at the molecular level when an infection occurs. These complex reactions are shown by using infection models. We are interested in which interactions take place between pathogenic fungi and the cells in the body during infection and how these processes contribute to the fact that either the host becomes ill or the fungus is killed and the host becomes healthy. How the fungus Aspergillus fumigatus spreads to the lungs and becomes a life-threatening invasive aspergillosis is being examined by the employees of the Department of Cell and Molecular Biology, led by Professor Hans-Peter Salutz. For this, they use a PET CT, a special imaging technique. The scientists have radioactively labelled fungal strains and are therefore able to track the temporal and spatial spread of infection. By means of PET-CT we can examine the course of disease of invasive fungal infections. We're also investigating the effectiveness of antifungal substances and what is also very important, we are reducing the need for experimental animals. Professor Oliver Kurzai and his research group Fungal Septomics are also interested in the interactions between fungus and host. The HKI scientists are working together with teams from the Friedrich Schiller University and the University Hospital Jena at the Center for Innovation Competence, Septomics, which is funded by the BMBF. They are examining why the yeast Candida albicans, which lives in the intestines of many of us, suddenly spreads and can cause serious infections. We are working with pathogenic fungi, fungi that cause sepsis in humans. These are infections that have become increasingly common in recent years and also have a very high mortality rate. 
We're trying to figure out how such infections arise, how the human immune system reacts to it, and then possibly to develop new methods by which we can both earlier diagnose these infections and better treat patients. Modern laboratory methods lead to huge amounts of data. A team of bioinformaticians and computational biologists led by Professor Reinhard Gutke and Professor Mark Thilo Figger process and interpret this data. They are modeling molecular networks and can use 3D simulations to draw conclusions about the interaction between host and pathogen. We get several types of data from the biologists, genome-wide expression data or image data, and we combine them into virtual models of infection. Then we simulate the infection on the computer and hope to evaluate the success of, for example, treatment methods. At HKI, scientists from various disciplines work towards a common goal to be able to treat fungal infections dangerous to humans better in the future. <laughs>